In this video, let's take a look at the difference between IMT, DCT, and IVT, which is better, and whether you should buy it or not. So what is an IMT? IMT is known as Intelligent Manual Transmission, it is a manual gearbox, consisting of gears and a gear lever, which allows you to shift gears, without pressing the clutch, as it does not have a clutch pedal, it only has brake and accelerator pedals. DCT is known as Dual Clutch Transmission, it works by using two clutches, instead of one, and both are computer controlled, these computers eliminate the need for the driver to manually change gears and the entire process is automated. IVT is known as Intelligent Variable Transmission. It performs continuous shifts as you drive in your vehicle. It changes ratio faster than a traditional automatic transmission, allowing the wheels to move much faster than automatics. Now let's find out how these transmission works, starting with the Intelligent Manual Transmission. It's hard to describe from a user's point of view whether the new intelligent manual transmission is an automatic gearbox or a manual. However, it is also not fully automatic as the driver has to change gears manually. It is currently available in the Hyundai Venue SUV and soon also in Kia Sonnet. IMT is the next big gearbox technology in Indian cars after AMT. To put it simply, imagine you are driving a car with a manual gearbox. Usually when you change gears, you press the clutch pedal, take your foot off the accelerator and shift the gear with the help of the gear knob. In a car with IMT technology, there is no clutch pedal. So, your left foot is basically resting while driving. When you do feel the need to change gears, just slot the gear knob into the desired position and shift up or down like you normally would. The gear knob will have the traditional H pattern which is seen on almost all manual cars. Plus, there will be just two pedals in the footwell, the accelerator and the brake pedal. With the Hyundai Venue already available with an IMT transmission, the future of this clutchless automatic looks bright and promising. In fact, the Kia Sonnet will also comes with IMT transmission. The biggest advantage can be that it will be easier to drive in traffic. Also, when you shift gears, you will still get the feel of a manual car. Again, due to the electronically controlled clutch operation, the IMT technology is said to offer better fuel efficiency. It will take some time to get used to it, but it will be a more comfortable driving experience. The IMT offers better drive experience as compared to manual transmission. It is cheaper than most automatic transmissions. Maintenance of IMT is also reasonable. There should be no major jerks or lags while shifting gears. IMT cars are available with paddle shifters. It provides good fuel efficiency. The gear shifting in the IMT is similar to that of the manual transmission. IMT is expensive as compared to manual transmission. The reliability of this transmission is poor. IMT is generally for people who are not willing to spend too much on automatics and want a simpler yet in control drive experience. Although reliability issues can be a major drawback. And now, let's find out how a DCT transmission works. A dual clutch transmission DCT, is a type of multi-speed vehicle transmission system that uses two separate clutches for odd and even gear sets. The design is often similar to that of two separate manual transmissions, with their respective clutches within a housing and operating as a single unit. In car and truck, the DCT acts as an automatic transmission and does not require the driver to manually switch from one gear to another. Instead, the gear selection process is automated. The magic of a dual clutch transmission is that it can switch from one gear to another very quickly. This rapid shifting is possible because in the DCT, one gear is engaged in one of the two internal transmissions, with the next gear pre-selected in the other of the two internal transmissions and ready for immediate engagement. This transition from one gear to another takes mere milliseconds, making gear changes with DCT much faster than with a traditional manual transmission or a conventional automatic transmission. This is especially helpful in performance and racing cars, 
where split seconds can be the difference between winning and losing. The basic principle of DCT is that one clutch drives a gear set for even-numbered gears, while the other clutch drives an odd-numbered gear. Since the DCT can pre-select an odd gear, while the vehicle is being driven in an even gear or vice versa. To engage the operation of one clutch at exactly the moment the other is disengaging, a DCT can shift gears without interrupting the torque supply to the wheels. The DCT clutches are either wet or dry and are similar to the clutches used in most motorcycles. Wet clutches are bathed in oil to provide cooling for the clutch surface, therefore wet clutches are often used in applications with higher torque loads, such as the engine in the Bugatti Veyron. Well, a DCT can act as an automatic transmission. But it can be both. In the typical DCT, when driving automatic mode, the transmission will pre-select the next gear and then perform all the actions necessary to change between gears. Apart from automatic operation, a modern DCT can also operate as a clutchless manual. This means the driver can manually select the next gear using paddle shifters, usually on the steering wheel. The driver is not required to use the clutch pedal or actuate the clutch in any way. Manual shifting enables very rapid up and down gear changes and gives the driver complete control over transmission behavior. In short, if you are looking for a fully automated experience, DCT is the best option. IMT will relieve you of the clutch hassle, but still, you have to shift gears yourself. Also, companies offer traction mode with DCT, but not with IMT. Well, it is both sides, let's look at the good side first. So, you are likely to see dual clutch automatics in smaller cars. So if you're looking for a sportier feel to your daily drive, but want the ease of an automatic, the DCT is a great option. It is far more responsive than a traditional automatic and brings comparable fuel efficiency. And the bad side is that the DCT can also lag when the driver requires a gear other than the one pre-selected by the transmission. The transmission's software needs time to choose the right gear, resulting in lag. The dual clutch system is a strong, smooth and efficient transmission. If used properly, it should last 10 years without any problems, even with hard driving. It depends on what car you are driving, how it is being driven, and where you are sending it. The average cost for most cars can be anywhere from $500 to $1,000, although it can easily be higher. DCT provides fast and smooth gear shifting. There is no RPM and torque loss when shifting gears. It enhances the overall vehicle performance. This transmission provides superior ride and handling, along with excellent driving experience. DCT is very expensive as compared to other transmission. It is heavy and adds a lot of weight to the body. And requires regular maintenance. High fuel consumption. Difficult mechanisms to repair, spare parts are also expensive. Cars with DCT are the most enjoyable to drive and offer better acceleration and speed, it performs really well even in off-road conditions. However they are very expensive, and also expensive to maintain. The Hyundai brand introduced a new IVT which aims to improve the fuel economy of equipped vehicles. The IVT offers a smoother and more responsive drive on the road than an automatic transmission. An IVT changes the ratio faster that allowing the wheels to move much faster than automatics. This quick power results in an incredibly smooth and responsive drive on the road, allowing for one of the most comfortable driving experiences available. The new IVT is similar to the CVT that performs continuous shifts to provide better efficiency over the automatic transmission. It does this by modifying the pressure of the pulley system in the transmission, adjusting the pressure based on the driver's input and driving conditions. In automatics, this temporarily disconnects the vehicle's engine from the driveline while shifting gears, resulting in an interruption in forward motion. But in IVT, it performs in such a way that there is little or no loss of speed when the system changes gears throughout the drive. 
The pulley system used by it has a wider ratios than many other similar transmission systems, which is directly related to a much wider ratio of operation. This is why fuel efficiency is increased at higher gear ratios, yet performance improves at the lower end. For highway driving, which is better, IVT or DCT? IVT uses new shift control technology to line up driver input, vehicle behavior, and acceleration. This makes it more responsive and ultimately provides better driving experience on the road. So if you are looking for the best driving experience, then you can choose to go with IVT rather than DCT. The Hyundai IVT offers smooth, jerk-free ride quality and is comparatively more stable even at high speeds. On the other hand, the Aura offers a comparatively better rear seat feel and comfort. In terms of features up front, both the cars are quite good and have a excellent features as well. The IVT has a pulley system. This pulley system makes it an infinite gear ratio, which allows it to achieve the best efficiency in automatic transmission systems better than DCT or IMT. Depending on the speed of the crankshaft, the length of the pulley changes while changing gears at the same time. IVT is less expensive than DCT. City drives with this transmission are very relaxed and comfortable. They are very fuel efficient. The IVTs are cheaper than the automatic cars. The paddle shifters are also available with IVT transmission. The IVT mechanism is complex and expensive to repair. Maintenance is also more expensive. IVT is for those customers who want a car that can be driven very smoothly through city traffic, it is the better choice transmission in terms of fuel efficiency, but not in performance. IVT is a cheaper option as compared to DCT. That's it, thanks for watching, watch this video to know more about transmission systems.